Hello everyone, Danny here with the Pedal Peasants YouTube channel. Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Today I'm going to bring you all a video and I'm going to share with you all the process that I took to purchase the 8000 watt stealth bomber e-bike from Alibaba. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I highly encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I've also made a full in-depth review on the 8000 watt e-bike. I made an unboxing and an assembly video as well. Be sure to check those out. I do appreciate the support. With that being said, let's get right on into this. Where we're going to want to begin is we're going to want to start off with the model of bike that we want. So it's always best to know what style of bike or even the type of bike that we are going to be looking for. So that way we can use those as keywords within the Alibaba search engine right here. So for this example, we're going to be looking up an 8000 watt stealth bomber e-bike. That's the bike that I'm looking for. That was the bike that I was looking for specific. So we're going to kind of repeat the exact same steps that I took to purchase the bike. So I'm going to essentially type that in here, Stealth Bomber Electric Bike. If you know the specs such as wattages or anything like that, you could type that in if you're looking for a 1500, 3000, 5000, you get the idea. But for this, we're going to keep it generic and I'm going to go ahead and click search. What's going to happen is Alibaba is going to search through its engines here and it's going to bring up the listings here that are similar or represent basically what I typed in so to speak and I'm gonna look through them and I'm basically gonna search for the style that best fits my needs as well as the price point so there's multiple factors that I'm considering I'm considering the way that the bike looks I'm gonna consider the performance and the price point off the bat those are some of the three things that do come to mind I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna kind of keep scrolling until I see something that actually catches my eye such as this one, this one's actually looking pretty cool. So you kind of get the idea with that. Again, if you're looking for anything specific, such as 3,000, 5,000, 8,000 price points, if you know a specific manufacturer that you heard of, type that in up here in the search engine as well. So that way you can locate that easily or easier rather. So you're going to look through the product listings. I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the product page right here. So this right here is the product page that I personally utilize to purchase my 8000 watt stealth bomber e-bike. The representative that serviced me throughout the way was a representative named Miroku. Now forgive me if my pronunciation is incorrect, however that is the representative that I got. Now let's move forward with this right here. So I've looked through some product listings and this is a page that I ended up on. From here, some things that I look at off the bat are the suppliers stats that are on the product listing page. If you look right here, we can actually click and go into the manufacturer's profile, which I will actually show you as well. And it's going to have more information listed right here from videos, products, profile, contacts, promotion feed you get the idea so you can get more acquainted with the manufacturer before hand before even reaching out or anything like that to really get a feel if the company is right for you companies that don't go as far as even filling out a product page it's kind of less likely to get my business personally so even seeing all of this right here off the bat showing me listings right here all of this right here does matter to me and I'm not sure if it matters to you, but being able to see information, see the company beforehand, read a little bit more on who I am dealing with kind of makes or breaks the deal for me. So even at first impressions, the boning um, profile seems professional. This right here was my representative. These are the two representatives that I believe people deal with when they're dealing with Cheng, uh, Cheng Zhao but that is essentially it so make sure again though that we're really doing our part when we find a product listing that fits our criteria make sure that we're going to the manufacturers profile pages and really look for the images and look for the videos and due diligence moving on over to the actual product listing if i look right here they do offer different wattages different specs on their bikes right here so knowing what you want is crucial before reaching out i would recommend figuring out your budget figuring out what you want specific from wattages to price points if you want a color dis uh, color uh, screen display forgive me there or if you want a bicycle seat dirt bike seat what tires do you want what size tires all of these things matter and these are things that you should inquire about if these are things that you care about so for me what i went ahead and i did was i found a manufacturer that seemed pretty reputable pretty trustworthy that i was even going to go and spend my money with 
For me, I went with this manufacturer right here, Boning Electric Appliance, Chang Zhao. And I'm not sure if a lot of you have heard of them. Drop a comment down below if you have. As you can see though, this is a product page. Keep in mind, this isn't something that we're gonna select the specs, load to car and check out type of deal. That's not necessarily what this is. The way that I read this is, this is a product listing page to let us know that this manufacturer, Boning Electric Appliance, Cheng Zhao, offers this electric bike right here in these specific specifications. Moving down here, it does have more listings such as product details, company profile, transactions, product description, gives us more information about the company, packing and delivery. Keep in mind, I did make a full unboxing on this. You can check that out as well if you are curious. Our service certifications and frequently asked questions. Here is some contact information as well. And if you scroll a little down, here is another contact bubble that we can fill out and send to them. Or you can utilize contact supplier or chat now. For me, I believe I use the contact supplier. From that point, once I figured out the product listing and once I figured out a good reputable manufacturer that I trusted, I went ahead and I reached out to them to ask them the information that I needed. So I relaying my questions and I waited for a response. This company specific is very diligent with responding. I would ask a question and then they would respond in a timely manner. I never really had any issues with any response times or anything like that. This may seem like a lot to some, but please keep in mind we are buying a high powered electric bike from overseas it's literally going to be shipped to us on a ship crossing the ocean so there's a lot to consider and there's a lot that goes into it unfortunately we can't just simply click the specifications check out and be done with it and get it in a timely manner there's a little bit more to that so right now where we're at within the process is we're simply doing our homework we're doing our research and we're doing due diligence to make sure that our money is going to be spent wisely and be put into a good area a good trustworthy area more importantly so right now in the process we are looking at the product listing and we've found a good comfortable manufacturer that seems pretty reputable that we can go ahead and continue with and there is going to be a handful out there so be sure to go ahead and do your research check them out should you choose to do so i will leave links for you for these product pages and this specific manufacturer for you below so you can check it out on your end with that being said though right now we are checking out the company page we're looking at everything we're ready to reach out you're going to make sure that you have your alibaba account obviously you're going to want to log in all of this the all of this right here everything from research to check out should be done through alibaba this shouldn't be done through paypal it shouldn't be anything like that so you're going to want to log in to the alibaba account and then once you're logged in you're going to want to go ahead and reach out to the supplier contact them with your specific needs this is kind of like a i would call it negotiation because you're going to go back and forth letting them know the specifics once you come to the term and agreement where everything is cohesive and the specifications are to your liking you're going to receive an invoice from the representative and this is still going to be in Alibaba. You're going to receive the invoice directly to your messaging. You can pay it from there. And then from that point, you're going to get a confirmation only after you've checked out. And here is an important part as well. When you get the invoice, it should be via trade assurance. Keep that in mind. When they send the invoice, you're going to get an email from Alibaba letting you know that you have that invoice. However, there shouldn't be like an outside invoice telling you to pay via PayPal or Venmo or any other third party app. The invoice should be sent. And I really want to confirm and stress this for you all. So that way you will understand the process that I took. The invoice was sent directly to my Alibaba messaging. I paid it through there with my form of payment. And that's how it was done. I did get confirmation emails and I did get an email before that letting me know, hey, you have an invoice here in your Alibaba account that needs attending to. So all of that was normal. However, if you find a vendor that's um, referring you to pay outside of Alibaba and the trade assurance program, I would highly recommend to look elsewhere just to keep yourself covered as best as possible. That trade assurance invoice is crucial for me. That was a way to give me some sort of peace of mind in case my 
package went south or I didn't get it or if I was dealing with a scammer, I would have had some sort of trace to run off of should I need to contact Alibaba directly. So always, 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 I stress, highly encourage, go through the trade assurance program when you are checking out. And just to confirm and reiterate, all of this is done within Alibaba. I don't want to log into my messaging and show you the information there as it does contain information such as addresses and other things like that. So therefore, I kind of want to just explain the process as the Alibaba platform works the same for all of us. Be sure you have an account log into it and make sure that you're really contacting these suppliers with diligent questions that you need answered have the impression that you are a serious buyer so i would recommend to make sure that you have an alibaba account before you start doing your shopping and research go ahead and create your account so that way when you are ready to reach out to the manufacturers when you found product listings that you were interested in you can go ahead and contact them directly just by logging into your account and utilizing the features on the product pages it's almost that simple i mean i know that it may be a lot for some as the process is rather different it's not a standard at to cart checkout process we receive at our door this is more of find a product listing find a manufacturer reach out to them inquire go back and forth receive an invoice pay for it and then wait for the bike itself so this process is a bit different it is not the standard process however with this specific company you can go ahead and guarantee that when you go through them you're going to go ahead and get what you pay for dealing with them was very easy for me now there may be a language barrier there so also be understanding and patient with that which is why i say be diligent with your questions and have them ready beforehand really look at the images and look at the videos and read everything before reaching out so that way you can really get acquainted with the company and go in with knowing what you want so do you want the 40 uh, 48 volt with the 15,000 or 1500 watts do you want the 72 volts with the 15,000 watts have all of this ready beforehand I would highly recommend and this method this approach could really be applied to anything that you're going to purchase on Alibaba so it's not just for e-bikes this can be for literally anything I would go with the same approach it never hurts to reach out to the supplier after you found a good one it never hurts to reach out to get more information the worst that they can tell us is no or whatever it is that they tell us on our end so essentially that is how i went about purchasing my 8000 watt stealth bomber e-bike from alibaba i did use cheng zhao and my representative was uh, Maruku. now forgive me if i'm mispronouncing that if i didn't touch base on anything specific or if you all have any questions at all i'm going to highly encourage you to drop a comment down below i will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction I also have social medias all under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I would truly appreciate the support on there as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I will be bringing more videos like this. Don't forget to check out my other videos around the 8000 watt Stealth Bomber e-bike as well. Thank you all for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.